Hello everyone and welcome back to Kibi's Collectibles. If you are new to my channel, my name is Pam and I make videos of my shopping trips to the Goodwill stores in my area of Columbia, South Carolina. Sometimes I buy for home decor and sometimes I buy to resell. Today we are at my local Goodwill and I found a few interesting pieces that I will share with you at the end of the video, so make sure you stick around. If you like shop along videos, I'd love if you would subscribe to my channel. Make sure you tap the bell so you won't miss when I upload a new video. And don't forget to like this video. All right, it's time. Go grab your coffee or go grab your tea and let's get thrifting. On my way to the hard goods section, I stopped in my tracks when I saw this piece. It's an acrylic and metal magazine rack. I love the smoky look to the acrylic and it is sturdy. There are no cracks and no chips. This was an amazing piece. This stemless wine glass set was so cute. I love the corgis. If you have a corgi at your house, let me know down below in the comments. This is a great practical find. This could be used in your bathroom to corral all of your toiletries, makeup supplies. I thought it was a good look too. This little piece looked to be vintage, so I grabbed it, noticed mm, candle wax, turned it around and look at that face. Precious. It is just a little boy or a girl and it's holding the letters E-L for Noel. I looked everywhere for the N-O, couldn't find it. This pot was totally my style. I love the color of it. I love the pattern that was on it, but at $5.95, it was a little too much for me. This pottery piece had a great shape. I wish it had more blue tones in it or I would have picked this one up. I found this jade tree, but the quality was just not there. Check out these two green stretch vases. They felt very lightweight and I am not quite sure who the maker is but they were not in the best of shape. This one here has a nice chunk out of the bottom. And I thought the color was really, really pretty. This butterfly mug is so pretty, but it's been at Goodwill for a long time. And I think because it is priced too high. This ceramic Christmas tree is not a vintage one. It is probably one from Target or there are many other places selling them right now, but it had a lot of issues, so I left it behind. I noticed this piece behind all of these mugs. It looks like it is hand painted. It may need a lid, and I'm not quite sure if that is from Italy or if it's just someone local and their hobbyist piece. This is a great looking planter. It does look like it's from one of those bigger stores, Lowe's or Home Depot. This mixing bowl, I loved it. I love the swirl on the outside and on the inside it looks like Polish pottery. I don't think it is, but I don't know that much about Polish pottery either, but I just thought this was a fun bowl. I thought at first this elephant would be made out of wood, but it wasn't. It was a very lightweight material, so lightweight that when I picked it up, I was like, oh, and I thought I would definitely knock it over by accident. It was so light. Thank you. 
Speaking of another lightweight piece, I expected this one to be a little bit heavier. Maybe I was thinking it was pewter. Not sure what this was made out of, but it was super lightweight. And here is a Temptations piece. This looks like a tumbler style piece. I wonder if it was supposed to have a lid. And I liked that rubber grip in the middle. Check out this winter piece of decor, or it could be for Christmas. It is a galvanized reindeer, but its body has bark applied to it. I saw this Jim Shore box at the back of the shelf, and this is a white woodland wreath from 2019. Take a look at it. It's gorgeous. I spotted this bunny on the top shelf way in the back and I tried to bring it a little bit closer so I can take a look. It was so pretty. Now this bunny has a pretty good size on it and it would be great for your Easter decor or your spring decor. Think about having it on your tablescape. Oh, just gorgeous. It did have some issues on its face, unfortunately, but I was really surprised that its ears were all intact. I saw this baby doll laying on the shelf and I just had to pick it up. It had that porcelain feel of a head and <laughs> my husband is with me and he's tapping on it and the hands were the same. It did not have the porcelain feet it had a little bit of chipping on its fingers and a little staining on the clothes. It might be from the 1970s, I'm not sure. If you know something about this baby, let me know. I'd love to learn more about vintage dolls. This was just a simple piece of granite and it's great for many different purposes. That's what I love about Goodwill. You can find so many things that you can use around the house, not just things to resell. And I could not walk past this cutie without taking a look. This is a Christmas mail ceramic piece. And yes, you can stick your Christmas cards, your Christmas mail in that slot, but it did have a broken piece on it and I could not find a price. So I left this one behind. Aren't these the cutest little elephants? I'm not sure, but they could be home co. I just thought they were precious. And then right next to that, I saw this cute little container. It was made by Hallmark. I love the imagery on the front. I love the cat as the handle on this picture. And of course, it looks like the cat's trying to get inside for a little drink of milk. This small plate was so beautiful, y'all. I don't know where it's from, if it's Italian, if it's from Poland, but the coloring was gorgeous. This is a Ray Dunn passport cover and luggage tag. It's still new in the box, which is really a good deal when you find these types of items at Goodwill. You can always use them for gifts, or of course for yourself. These buttons were pretty cool. 
And of course, there is that Christmas tree from Avon still there. It may end up at the bins, unfortunately. The first thing I picked up was the square piece of granite. Now this is my husband's craft workstation and he likes to buy various pieces of granite that he can use for his hot glue guns or any type of work that he needs a non-forgiving workspace. I picked up this baby doll. I decided that I wanted to do a little research and learn more about dolls and this one really was beautiful. The eyes were gorgeous. They were hand painted. It is in a little bit of rough shape. It has some chipping on the fingers, but it's gonna be a great place for me to start to learn about the ins and outs of baby dolls. I purchased the fabulous acrylic and metal magazine rack. I absolutely love it. The acrylic has a little bit of a smoky color to it. Of course, there are a few scratches. It is an older piece, maybe from the 70s, 80s. I'm not sure, but it is amazing. I have some of my little golden books here on it, and I think it just has such a good look. I'm really pleased to have found this piece, and I will be selling this in my booth. I was not about to walk away and leave this cutie behind. This is a sweet little girl or boy. They were part of a set that says Noel. I could not find the other piece, but I have it styled here with my very last Lucite candle that I found. I have the pair to it, but of course it's in pieces. It's heartbreaking, I know. However, this is such a cute little piece. It is from Japan, and I will be putting this piece in my Christmas decor. And that'll do it for today, everyone. Thank you so much for stopping by, shopping along with me. Please, if you enjoy this type of content, subscribe to my channel and definitely like this video. Give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. Tell me what your favorite piece was that I found today. And until next time, everyone, bye-bye.